What's up, my fellow learners and aspiring business moguls? If you've ever wanted a shortcut to success straight from the master himself, then listen, <laughs> you're in for an exciting video today because you'll be equipped with not one, not 10, not 20, but 93 gems of knowledge from Warren Buffett that can shape your life, your career, and your financial future like never before, in celebration of Warren's 93rd birthday. Let's get it. Wait, before we get it, here's some context. I don't know Warren Buffett like that. I'm not sure if he and I have shared values and visions in every area of life, but I do know that he is a world famous billionaire investor and a very shrewd businessman he's also an elder so since i like talking about business on the square which is my podcast right here on uh youtube exclusively right now i figured i'd glean from his wisdom that spans across life and business and today we're going to be diving deep into some quotes uh, that can uncover the secrets to his extraordinary success let's Listen, shy speak, shy speak, shy speak, shy speak. Have you ever wondered how Warren Buffett got his billions or how he sustained his billions or how he sticks to having this legis legendary status over the years? Just just wondering about that. Well, I want you to stick around because I'm about to unveil his playbook for greatness. I am going to go over 93. We're going, did I say 93? How many did I say? 93. Yes, 93 different, mm, come on, 93 different quotes, right? Uh, different lessons. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering, 93, I don't got that kind of time to be sitting up watching some, no 93 different quotes. Okay, I get it. I get it. We not gonna, I'm not going to read them all. I'm going to read just a few that I actually have highlighted as the most notable. And I'm going to show you on the screen the 93. So you can see them. You can read them for yourself. But I'm going to highlight the ones that I think are most significant in the areas of investing and wealth creation, wisdom on business success, and of course, like lasting fulfillment, because I think he might know something about that. He's lasted 93 years without further ado. Let's get it in. Man, like I said, we getting right in. I took the time to write down these quotes. Here we go. There it is. Let's, let's kind of open this up. We I told you I pulled up a PDF. I wrote it down. I made it plain. All right. So let me get it back. Here we go. So like I said here in a second, I want to show you um, we're going to go over all three of those different categories right now. All right. So we got 93 quotable lessons on life, business and investing from Warren Buffett. Let's start with the investment principles. Number one, he says the stock market is a device for transferring money from the inpatient to the patient. Mm. He said price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Mm. He said, opportunities come infrequently. When it rains gold, put out a bucket, not a thimble. That's an investment principle. Sometimes the opportunity is so sweet. And when it come around like that, don't put a little money in. Put a lot of money in because that's how you're going to be able to catch it, right? You got to put out a bucket out there. So you can rack in as much as you can over time. I'm going to keep it going. He says, only buy something that you... Per, you'd be perfectly happy to hold if the market shut down for 10 years. Mm. 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 That's a real shrewd, that's a very, very specific decision. And then right here he says, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. Investing is not a game where the guy with 160 160 IQ beats out the guy with the 130 IQ. This is not that kind of carrying on. Let me let me keep it rolling. As a matter of fact, before I move on into the business success, I want you to chew on that investment advice. And I actually have some investment advice 
that I did want to show you from uh, Warren Buffett himself. So I want to go ahead and pull that up for you. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what old Warren got to say from an investment perspective. Give me a figure that'll blow your mind, I think. I bought my first stock when I was 11 years old. It was the first quarter of 1942. I spent $114.75. Three shares, $114.75. If I put that 114 into the S&P 500 at that time and reinvested the dividends, think of a figure as to what it might be, would be worth today. Oh, man. $400,000 today with one person's lifetime. Now, the market's gone down many times during that time. People have panicked during that time. Headlines have been terrible. But if you buy it for 10, 20, just keep buying the S&P 500 index. And forget about all the other nonsense that's being told. Let me give you a Listen, do we even know what he's talking about? I mean, he makes it sound so, so simple. Like, he talks in, he talks numbers like, and I have investor aspirations. I don't know if I plan to do it just like Warren or just like whoever, but I do want to invest at a very, very high level. I want to be able to know what the calculations would have been from 11-year-old all the way to now. Like, the, 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 the compound interest. Anyway. Listen, uh, whether listen when it comes to the magic of compound interest, uh, there is, uh, from what he says, there is an importance in staying patient, right? I joked about not knowing what he's saying, but he talked about this and people talking about the steady, gradual growth of something. Had you just put something in a very um, something that was not risky, just let it alone, and with patience, um, it would have kind of created this amazing result it's like a lesson uh, that he has that's a foundational of all his financial teachings and it's a foundation of his financial empire let's keep it moving on over into uh let's switch over to the business advice right business man he has some business triumphs he's the ceo of berkshire but this insights that he's going to be given is not just for ceos they're valuable for anyone that wants to thrive in their professional journey. So let's read a few of these. Here we go. So uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. I highlighted in the business world, the rearview mirror is always clearer than the windshield. Some people are like, well, how's that business advice? Like the mirror is always clear. Like we all know hindsight is 2020. That's all we're saying. If you know a little bit about Warren Buffett, you know that he goes and he studies the trends. Like he looks at, he, he he reads portfolios, financial statements, and he watches what's happening with the numbers back in this time and this time and this time and this time. Because if I can look at it, let me keep it going. You just got it. You know, if you got it, you got it. Number two, it says, should you, well, we're 39 here. Uh, should you find yourself in chronically leaking boat? Uh, energy devoted to changing vessels is likely to be more productive than energy devoted to patching up that leak. He said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Mm. Mm. And then uh, he says something else about stock, but it's kind of like a business advice as well. He says, I try to buy stock in a business that businesses that are so wonderful that an idiot can run them <laughs> because sooner or later one will, right? And so that's kind of a little bit of a sense of humor there, but you know, that's a business advice because you should have a business that's so easy to manage that even an idiot could run it. Because <laughs> either you're going to hire one or you're going to have an idiotic one. Anyway, I'm just giving you, these are his quotables, okay? Now, lastly, I want to dive into Buffett's life lessons, the gems that he offer as guidance that go beyond the boardroom or balance sheets or anything like that. And we're going to get into some of the things that he has to say about lasting fulfillment. Now, I actually have something I want to show you that he said as well about lasting fulfillment. Give me just a second here. And I'm going to pull that up for you just so you can see what Warren said. There we go. Here we go. Video tried to play me, but I want you to hear what he has to say about money because most people know him as a billionaire investor, but he has some thoughts on lasting fulfillment. So check it out. Has no utility to me. Time has utility to me, but but money in terms of knowing 
making trips or doing owning more houses or having a boat or something. It has no utility to me whatsoever. It has a lot of utility to other people, which is the reason for the giving for it. What motivates you to still run a company uh, when most people your age are playing shuffleboard or they're relaxing yeah. or doing something? Yeah, they spend all week tying their hair cut. Mm -hmm. I, I get to do every day what I love with people that I love. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And so the greatest pleasure in your life, other than doing interviews like this, is um, is what? Looking at new companies, making investments, giving away the money. What gives you the most pleasure? Your grandchildren? All. Like, all of the above. I mean, but the, the truth is that, that I regard Berkshire Hathaway sort of like somebody that's a painter regards a painting. It, the difference being that the canvas is unlimited. So uh, there's no finish line at Berkshire. And it's, it's a game that you can continue to play. Money. Hmm. He said, there is no finish line. It's a game that you can continue to play. I love that. I like that, you know, idea. Like, I do this because I, I really like, I, it's something that I love doing. So it's not like, mm hmm yeah, I see what he did there. I see what he did there. But but also, if we go back to what he was talking about, uh, we realize that uh, he values relationships over possessions, right? Uh, seeking knowledge constantly. These are the lessons that are secret ingredients for a life well lived. I'm going to read a couple of more principles here from this list of 93. And then I'm going to go back to showing you the list of 93. Yeah, let's do that. Let's show you the list of 93. Here we go. All right, let's go and show you a few more of his life lessons. He says happiness can be seen as a byproduct of meaningful work and a fulfilled life. You can have meaningful work and not a fulfilled life, then it's not going to be happy. When you have those Mm, I agree with that. See what I'm saying? I don't know him. I don't know if we agree on everything, but I do know we agree about that. He says, you ought to be able to explain why you're taking the job you're taking, why you're making the investment you're making, or whatever it may be. And if it can't stand applying pencil to paper, you better think it through a little bit more. Man. Ooh. All right. Here, okay, I'm done with the with the list. You know what I'm saying? If you want the list, you can end, you can hit me up. Hit me up and say, I want that. I want that. I need that. I want to read all the rest of them. I'll send it to you. I really will. But here's the thing, though. I'm going to give you a bonus. This one right here was kind of funny. He said, never ask a barber if you need a haircut. That, that one is life advice. It's also business advice. Let me run it back. Never ask a barber if you need a haircut. He's trying to help you not get sold. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, as, man, as we wrap up this enlightening journey through 93 priceless lessons from Warren Buffett, remember that his wisdom isn't just for financial giants. It's a treasure trove that can elevate any aspect of your life. If you really, really try it. Some of the ones that I, especially the ones that I listed today, uh, if Buffett's wisdom uh, has ignited a fire within you, I want to encourage you to hit the like button. And of course, do me a favor. I want you to share a comment uh, about which lesson resonated with you the most out of the ones that I read, which lesson resonated with you the most. And as you embark on your journey to success, always keep in mind that timeless principles can be your guiding star. I'll see you in the next video. Wait, one more thing. Don't be, don't just listen to this and say, that was a good video. Seriously, go out there and embrace these quotes. Embrace these bars dropped by old Buffett, right? Old billionaire Buffett. And watch your life and your business soar to new heights. Listen, shy speech, shy speech, shy speech, shy speech.